Good morning! Happy Friday! Welcome back to Friday Cop Chats, Nat and Tina. That's right. And y'all look at here. Check these out. Ah, oh, are they cute? I got these from a secret chat. Secret channel. <laughs> I got these from a secret channel. Ain't they cute as a baton? And she remembered me. Isn't that sweet? I want that sweet for her to send me one too. Of course, we don't know who it is. No. Uh, Hopefully you have already seen that video. If not, uh, it's supposed to be up <laughs> this morning, Friday. Both of these videos are supposed to be up. But we want to let you know that we're not sure when you'll see this video, Friday Coffee Chat, because we are waiting on Hurricane Dorian, or Doran. How do you say her? I don't even, is it a he or a she? It's I don't a, know. I think it's a he. Okay, wait, we're waiting on him. And, uh, I want so, him to come on and get on out of here. I'm ready for him to make his appearance, and I'm ready for him to just go Dorian. on. And it's raining right now, just a little bit. The wind's blowing just it's a little quiet. bit. It's very quiet. You know how they it's talk It's very, about very that. cloudy. We are under a tornado watch uh, yes. pretty much all day. And it's really supposed to come in, I think, around, what, 5 o'clock-ish or something like that in our area. Yeah, and I just hope like I make the, it home. Like all the, the heavy rain and the wind and all that it's supposed to go into mm -hmm. to, to, to the, to today. Y'all, I've got y'all confused. It's coming, it's coming through today, which is really Thursday. It's coming through here. The wind and the rain is supposed to be really bad this evening and into on, and into Friday. And I have to still go to work, so but we are closing at two. We're not gonna have a a um evening shift. Well, that's good. At least so I'm hoping home. I do get Before home it really starts. in time for it starts really pouring rain. Y'all, this thing has changed so many times. Yesterday morning we got up. I even got up and I woke, woke Earl up because this thing, it really stresses me out. These hurricanes makes me very nervous. And so when I got up, you know, I always get up for Earl does. So I got up and they had did, they had done a uh, hurricane update or whatever and it said that the storm was a category one. So I hop up and I wake Earl up. I said, it's a one, it's a one because when we went to bed, it was like a two or, or three or something. So I so it was saying it was gonna be a one when it come come to North Carolina. Then it changed yesterday to a two. Now it's a three, but they're still saying it's gonna be a two now when it uh, comes on to North Carolina. So it I just don't keeps know. Changing. It just keeps changing. And it can change again. Yeah. And I hope it does to a one. I hope it changes to where it just we don't have one. a. It would be nice. <laughs> Wish it would just change where we wouldn't have a lot of effects from it, but. We, do, we ask you to keep our state in your prayers and keep our coastal counties and areas in your prayers because I believe they're going to get hit pretty hard. And please pray for all those that this storm has already hit. There is so much devastation in the Grand Bahamas mm. and those little islands out there. People have lost their lives. And it's really, really sad, y'all. It's really, really hard to watch those images and videos on TV. Have you seen them? Mm -hmm. It's awful. That is awful, y'all. And then you can hear them on the telephone just begging for help and begging for you to pray for them. And y'all, that, if that doesn't touch your heart, something's wrong with you because that is just, that is awful. I mean, it hit them at a Category 5. I can't even imagine. Ooh. They have lost everything. Everything. And, and even the airport. The airport has been demolished. I mean, it, people can't, they can't get things in you know to help them because they don't even have an airport for planes to fly into it's awful y'all they really need your prayers i didn't want to mention this because it just popped in my mind earl is going to i ain't told tina earl is going to a football game sunday in charlotte really with who with uh his aunt and cousin and they're going to see i believe it's the rams Oh, yeah. Because Rams have always been his team since he was very, very young, and uh, the Carolina Panthers. So he is excited about that. Well, a friend gave me some stuff. Uh, she's cleaning out her house and rebuilding, I think. And she gave me a little bit of stuff to put in my shop. So That's that was nice. good. Uh, my sister's birthday was Monday, but they we celebrated Sunday. At her house, her husband cooked hot dogs and hamburgers with all the works to it, and it was very good, y'all. You want to tell her her name? Oh, my sister, Timmy Jo. <laughs> that's her name, Timmy Jo. Uh, she, we had a good time, y'all. We ate, she opened her gifts, and then after that, we went out to the band room. My daddy and my brother had built him a band room many, many years ago. They have a stage in there with their... That's nice. Their, um... What you instruments? Yeah, instruments. I was going to say utensils. 
<laughs> instruments all up there, the drums, the guitars, and the whole works. That's very Microphones, nice. it's really nice. We used to have a lot of a lot of cookouts and pig pickings, mm -hmm. and they would always play and get togethers. But now we don't we don't do that as much anymore. My dad had open heart surgery a couple of years back, and since then he's he's not played as much and all. But so he got out there because I asked him would he to feel like he could play. He said yeah, and I think he was tickled because he really enjoyed it, y'all. Him and my he played the guitar and he sang. He does sing, and my brother plays the guitar and my nephew played the drums and my niece. <laughs> <laughs> sit there playing the tambourine and she helped sing a little bit too dance a little bit and dance a little bit she shimmy shimmy yeah that was good y'all we enjoyed it we just sit out there probably a good hour or more two hours she vlogged i did vlog i don't some. i don't know when i can even get to working on that and try to get it up and i don't even know i would love to put in all the um them like singing and the music and all that but you know with copyright stuff it, it, you can't do that so I may try to put in a little bit of the video, cut the sound, put something else to it, but I don't know if it'll be as good, but yeah. you can kind of see. Because he sings, uh, he used to play in a band years ago. Um, he had his own band, and they, he said he sings a lot of the very older songs. Mm -hmm. He had such a good time, and I just loved sitting there watching him play and sing. It was just so good to me. My daughter and I, Saturday, stopped by a yard sale, and y'all, she came across the deal. She bought a big box of Gaines dishwashing liquid and them pods, bags of pods. And there, there was something else in there and I don't know that it had something to do with gain and I don't know what, I can't was remember it what it was. Was it little sprinkle things? Yes. Yes, it was. The sprinkle thing for 20, about $21. That's cheap. That's cheap. And I don't know how many, it was probably six bottles of gain and probably That's very cheap. Six bottles of, I mean, bags of pods. And I don't know how many okay. bottles of uh, the containers of the sprinkles. Yeah. But she was, t she grabbed that up. She was tickled over that. Last night, David cooked. We had pork chops, mac and cheese, then French green beans, rice with gravy, and biscuits. And that was good, y'all. It was so good. We had Zaxby's, and That's it was delicious. Mm. I mean, it really was. So he brings it home from, on the way home from work. And a lot of times, you know, when you bring stuff home from on the way home it kind of gets soggy or whatever because it sweats <laughs> and i don't know like it because french fries like sweat and get soggy i just don't like i don't like that but y'all they were good they were crispy the chicken was delicious i mean everything was just so good well that's it was so good. good i was gonna get a salad but i said nah I, we got a hurricane coming i need i really need to like you know store up because <laughs> i'm gonna have to eat peanut butter sandwiches for a few days <laughs> and uh my friend Sharon, you know, y'all heard me talk about her right much. Um, she has, has was back in the hospital. Her sugar dropped down to 35, which is... Wow, that's very low. That's very low. They kept her overnight and got it all straightened out. And so she was back home. Mm -hmm. And I went over there to see her at home. And uh, I got to help her get her a little a bath some. And, but she's better now. So um, it seems like every, she gets over one thing, something else jumps on her, but she has lupus, y'all. And I don't know if you know anything about lupus, but her mama had it. And it attacks all your organs. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just uh, something wow. all the time. Y'all, I bought me two tops. One at Burke's and one at Kato's. And I like both of them, but I love the one I bought at... Um, we took pictures. Yeah. Was it Kato's the one I love? The black one? No, the other one I love is so good. I don't know. No, I think that comes from Burke's. Um, I love it. It looks good on me. I like it. It has that long tail in the back. You yeah. know, I like that. And I bought me a scrub top at the shop I fell across. And I paid $2 for that scrub shop. Cheap. It's got pretty butterflies all over it. Oh. I'm wearing that today. That's good. As to work <laughs> on a storm day. Butterflies. <laughs> oh, and y'all, Kitty Rose is doing so good. But I tell you what, she's, whoo, she's wide open. She is you losing her, using her litter box really good. She loves her playing with her toys. And I went to um, Walmart. And I bought her over there at the, kitty, the dog section, the kitty section, pet section, I want to say, kitty side. I bought, it had two paper bags, big ones, for $2.50. And it has that kitty, um, what you call that stuff they put in, they put, I can't think of it right now. It's like a little treat. It has the smell of that. Uh, and she gets in that bag, and boy, she's fighting in that bag playing. It is so cute to watch her. And then mm. she jumps on top of it. She likes that bag of 250 That's a cheap toy. Oh, it's cheap. <laughs> and I uh, said, so she plays with that. So she's a good kitty. She likes to get up in my lap and see it. 
while I watch TV and I, that's fine with me. Jasper is finally being the boss because she's want, Kitty Rose is wanting to play with Jasper. Jasper wants to play too, but every time, you know how Kitty's a jump and stuff, uh -huh. it scares Jasper. <laughs> and boy, why, the, he, you know how Jasper is a poodle. And he's very timid. He is. And he's got a long tail instead of a short tail because everyone who had him, you know, left the long tail. And at the end, it's bushy. Mm -hmm. So that kitty right is <laughs> He's the one that looks like little toys. And she loves it. That's what she thinks it is. And so she, he can do it. He's slapping it. And the kitty rose is slapping his tail and all that. Boy, Jasper took all he could take of that yesterday. Before I knew it, she said, You don't never see Jasper out like that. Never. He did. That kitty tore off running. Kitty rose tore off running. Well, Earl and I and Mama went to the movies this past weekend. And we went. Uh, Saturday and we went Sunday. We went to see Overcomer. I'm not sure if you've uh, been out to see that yet. If not, I really recommend it. It is a very, very good movie. Very good movie. Very touching movie. I cry my eyeballs out. We also went to see Peanut Butter Falcon and that is a very good movie. It's a very sweet movie. I mean, it, it does have some cussing in it and uh, you know, I have to do without that, but it's the the storyline everything about it is, is a very good movie I also saw but not this weekend we saw dora <laughs> the lost city of gold <laughs> i think the same one <laughs> y'all that's a cute movie i really enjoyed that yes earl went with me to see it and he laughed <laughs> he did he got so tickled at it yeah that's a good movie if you haven't seen that i recommend that one too y'all know last week we talked about they'll cut the trees down back here they about gone well, yes, it does not look the same. I wish I wish I had took some video and showed y'all. I was going to vlog Saturday when we worked out there because Earl and I got up early Saturday morning and went down to the cow pasture because, you know, I told you they come over and they got a bunch of our pine trees and hopefully all that will uh, dry out. But now we got the storm coming in, but at least we don't have to worry about those trees falling. But we went out there and started working early before it got hot because it's a mess. It's just a mess out there. They took the logs, but of course they left a lot. Of, there are a lot of limbs, and I mean it's just a lot of everything, roots and all that stuff. So we went out there and trying to rake all that stuff up, and we had like three burn piles, and it started getting hot. And I can't take the heat. I, I just can't um, uh, being out in it when it's real hot. And uh, looked over, and our neighbor was coming over to help us, and I was like, "Thank you, Lord." <laughs> because and I can't do a lot of the heavy stuff and so he started working on our fence you know we had I forgot how many feet 40 foot wide I don't know feet of a, of a fence that had to be cut down or cut so the machines could get through so he started working on putting our fence up which was so helpful so he did that Earl by Earl and I were picking up limbs and stuff like that starting little fires keeping on all that stuff and then y'all I got a migraine I had to come back up and I had to go to bed and I went to bed for two hours got up it kind of was it was a lot better than it was but i still had that little lingering part of a headache so i went back down there and i tried to help some more by that time they had got that fence fixed and they were working on the other fence getting it fixed we got everything cleared up good enough to get clarabelle back out to where she can be out there Saturday night we went over to uh kenny and samantha i know you hear us talk about them right often we play cards with them every saturday night and they cooked us some T-bone steaks and Kenny's daughter Michelle and her husband and their little girl come and ate with us and we all had T-bone steaks and baked potato and bread and it was so good and then we all played cards and yeah. I know it was really fun. So we come home about 10.30 I think it was. Normally we say y'all playing cards like 12, it has been 1 o'clock at some times. Most of them is 12 o'clock. But Earl started having really bad cramps in his legs and where he got so hot out there. I'm thinking him and our neighbor were very close to being dehydrated, dehydrated or a heat exhaustion because and, and our neighbor got sick. He went home sick, throwing up and yeah. yeah. I told them over and over, I said, it's not worth y'all out here getting sick now. It's too hot. I told Earl, I said, now you know if my dad was out here helping you, he'd be like, now hey, it's dinner time, let's go, let's be here tomorrow. Because that's yeah. how he would have been. And that's the way I am. When it's time to eat, I'm ready to eat. And we didn't eat all day. We didn't eat all day Saturday until we ate over there and it was like 7 o'clock. I was starving. And that's probably one reason why I had such a bad headache. 
Because we had talked about getting lunch, but then once they got started, it's like they hated to quit. And I understand that. Yeah, that's how it is most but of time. We should have got breakfast, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and end our coffee chat. We'll go ahead and get this kind of edited and try to get it uploaded for you to watch Friday. Hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love you. Go out and make it a great Friday. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.